When you're just hard stuck and you're not seeing any improvement, it usually means it's time to just crank up the difficulty so that you can force your way through those plateaus. What is going on Angels? The Champ Strider here. And today I'm gonna move you guys up to my intermediate tracking routine. And it's always funny to me when you talk beginner or intermediate with Kovacs because it's a, it's a blow to the ego to be stuck on a beginner routine if you're a long time gamer. But Kovacs is really challenging. And if you look at how ridiculously low the average scores are on some of the most popular Kovacs scenarios, if you've been training and moving up the ranks, even on the beginner routines, your mouse control is well past the average PC gamer. So as we move to our intermediate routine, we're going to crank the difficulty up even further and don't just stop with my beginner routines, throw the intermediate tracking in every few days with your normal Kovacs work because that variety of drills can really help to stimulate growth. And before we start, remember, I recommend doing each drill five times each for around a 30 minute routine. So first up in the routine, we have a smoothness drill with thin aiming long. And I'd like to throw my smoothness visuals up here because remember, we want to keep a consistent speed and path with our mouse in this drill and really focus on trying to not be bumpy or shaky with your mouse control here. Next up, we're switching to an invincible version of one of my favorite drills with close long strafes invincible. And the reason I want to start implementing invincible drills into the routines is sometimes when the bot dies relatively quickly, it can mask deficiencies in your technique. Like I sometimes tend to over wrist aim on my tracking, which doesn't really punish me in the normal versions of drills, but if the bot keeps the same path in an invincible drill for a while, sometimes my wrist will bent all the way to left, meaning I should have been using my arm more. Third up, we have Rex Strafe's Kata Invincible, which will feel hard at first. The bot does that little kind of Apex Legends Wraith Wiggle quite often and changes directions very regularly. You want to be reactive in this drill, so try and wait till the bot changes directionally and snap right back on it. And we want to avoid guesswork with our tracking, which I know is always easier in theory than it actually is in practice. Up next, we have another challenging strafing drill with close, fast strafes. And this is another scenario where we use a lot of wrist control to burn down a very fast moving bot that wiggles back and forth. And I know I've said it in other videos, but those AD80 spam players are the hardest to track. So we really want to practice burning those players down. Now for our vertical tracking scenario, we have vertical fast strafes easy. And don't let the title fool you. This drill is much harder than vertical long strafes and very underrated as it has under 2k participants. Uh, and what I really like about this is the bot has less period standing still than vertical long strafes, so it's a lot less RNG based. And last up, we're going to end with another smoothness drill that will challenge our focus and endurance with thin gauntlet. And in this drill, you'll face a variety of thin bots that have different speeds and movement patterns. And it's one of the best smoothness drills out there, in my opinion. This drill is longer than a minute, so do this two to three times. And the first few days, it may seem very fatiguing. So that brings us to the end of our routine. Remember, if it's your first time here in the channel to become an angel by hitting the subscribe button so that you can come back for weekly FPS content. Champ out.